Hello, hello, hello. So, I decided to do most of the caving off camera. Um, as you can see, I've got a bit of redstone, coal, and lapis, and I've already actually made a trip up to the surface um, and dropped some of the stuff off there. I can't wait to use redstone. Um, redstone is one of my favorite things about Minecraft. But anyways, um, you can also tell that I have switched. We're no longer using torches. We shall be using jack-o'-lanterns because they're pretty cheap. Um, and they light up a bigger area than torches do, and you don't have to worry about them. Like, let's say you're in a cave, and um, there's some water, and, and the water's flowing. And you're like, oh no, it knocked down all of my torches. With the jack-o'-lanterns, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, and it's pretty awesome. So, um, so, I was mining down here in the depths of... We can see the coordinates there. Um, pretty low. And I found some redstone right around here before those guys. Um, I don't remember exactly what relationship it was in, but as I dug down past the redstone, I found our first diamond. Oh, this is going to be awesome. I hope there's five. And I hope that there's... Nothing bad underneath here. Ooh, more redstone. There's two. Okay. I wish there's a... Go away. Go away, Graffle. I want a little bit more than two. Oh, please don't just be three. No, I need... Five for an enchanting table. Oh, four. That's the redstone. Yes! Yes! Oh, yes! Five! Oh, yes! Okay. Don't fall in lava. Achievement get diamonds! There's two, three, Four. Oh, this guy right here. He scares me. Yes! Oh, yes, we have the ability to create a craft or an enchanting table. Oh, run away, run away. <laughs> I don't want to lose the diamonds that we have so recently collected. Place a jack right there. All right, and let's get um i guess i should get the enough obsidian for a portal too so what is that it's 10 for a portal um well first of all i got to place that down and we will create actually you know what obsidian's not very entertaining to watch so i'm going to jump cut from here to the obsidian or to the to the good stuff. Haha, <laughs> such a derp. I forgot that um it's not enough to just have diamonds in your inventory. You actually have to make uh, a diamond pick. So here we go. Down here in the deep deep caves shall be our first diamond pick. Are you guys Wait a minute. Are you guys... Are you guys even ready for this? Our first diamond pick. Oop, nope. Boom. Ba boom Diamond hoe. Almost there. Diamond axe. Ba-boom. Diamond pickaxe. Alright, let's use this baby. Where did my go? Okay, we'll set you there. Um, the reason I put water down is because most of the time these obsidian pools like that are not um, 
or the lava pools are not just one block deep. Um, and if you put water over it, you have less of a chance of dying. Okay, so I'm going to be right back after I harvest some of this deliciousness. And Bob's your uncle. We now have 14 pieces of obsidian. And we can make our nether portal along with, just for good measure, um, along with our enchanting table. I should probably take you back with me. Just in case I need you again. Um, just for kicks and giggles, I think I will show getting out of the cave, but I might speed it up, depending on if I can find something to talk about or not. Um, and <laughs> depending on how many times I get lost in here. I think I know where I'm going, though, because I kind of wanted you guys to see one of the forward bases that I had set up. It was a little derpy thing, but um, it served me well. It served me well. I should have my sword in the hot bar, because I think that I lit everything up, but I am not entirely sure. Okay. Hmm... Maybe I... Oh, here was my little forward base. Yeah. Just check in to see if I left anything. But yeah, this is a little forward base that I left up. I explored a whole bunch of these caves, and as you can see, at least three creepers blew up. So... <laughs> it's a pity that you were not here to see that. Uh, but then again, my creeper fighting technique is not the strongest in Minecraftia. Ah, uh, yes, this way. Don't know why that bit of gravel's there. I think I put it there once to stop mobs from coming through. I had to stop all the mobs that were coming through. If anyone gets that reference, <laughs> probably no one will because it was such a short little snippet, but, um... Ooh, there's a zombie. There are two ravines that I know of um, that we need to go explore, and I will do that on camera sometime, but I'll do it at a later date. Um, kind of a caving episode. Okay, I thought that maybe there was something back there, but there wasn't. Alrighty. And... Let me see. Do I have any iron that needs to be smelted? Uh, yes, but I can do that upstairs because I want to get to make in the enchanting table and the enchanting room. Um, so today I have two goals. Um, one is I want to get the enchant... Ooh, wow. Let me uh, see if that doesn't help with the chicken sounds. Um, goal numero uno. Dang it, chickens. Goal number one is, um, oh, by the way, I extended some of the pens here, um, also extended, you can't really tell, but the pumpkin farm, and I have revamped the wheat farm, and I dug out all of this so that I could have a separate wheat and potato field, um, finished, or I worked on some stuff in the house, but anyways, um, I want to get the enchanting tape room, uh, on that leaf there. And I want to finally put up the dang diving board because I have the perfect place for it. But I did find out where to put that pressure plate that we were having so much trouble with. And right there is a good spot because I can just walk in. Um, imagine that the potion brewing will be over here. I'll probably have uh, two of them set up. And then all of our stuff will be in here and I'll have the farm somewhere around but um yeah you can see it's just really easy to walk in and out i have expanded our work area over here and got various chests you'll end up seeing what i put in them eventually um and the view from this bed is really great it's i think it's really pretty so we will look at that later um 
But for now, I need to I need to make a book, which means I need to breed cows and then murder them. So I will be right back. Dang, Enderman taking my blocks and making life living derpity derp herp derp burp 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 burp. No, I'm gonna drown down here. Derp. Okay. Dang it. Why do Endermen have to take blocks? Like, I understand um, the goal, not the goal, but the game mechanic behind it. It's kind of like how villagers will um, give flowers to some, or iron golems will give flowers to some villagers. But does it need to happen so often? Really, I guess is my point. Um, but anyways, I'll be right back after I breed these guys and kill them. Okie dokie, and we're back. And I have cleaned out my inventory. Um, don't recall if I've said this before, but the two goals I want to do is get the enchanting room done and the diving board, which is going to go right over here. Uh, and the diving board is going to dive right off from here, and we're just going to dive straight out like that. So, but anyways, first, I should show you guys my haul. This is what I got out of all of that. 14 pieces of obsidian, diamond pickaxe, 2 more diamonds left over, 2 gold blocks, 12 redstone blocks, 9 blocks of iron, 9 blocks of lapis, and 32 blocks of coal, and some change, respectively. But right now, we just care about these guys. We just care about these guys. I'm not going to go into the nether today. I'm so sorry, but I don't even know what I want to do with the portal at this point. Um, <laughs> enchantment table. Achievement get enchanter. Okay. Uh, we also need to craft ourselves some bookcases. I have enough for four. Do, 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 do. That's good enough for a beginner's. Uh, and by the next video, I'll probably have a complete set. Um, so, let's see what we want to do down here. I'll grab my iron axe, and I'll grab this guy, because I think we want to combine him. So, I finally posted up the roleplay, and... <laughs> I forgot to edit out about a minute of my computer dying. Um, since then, I have added a note to self that says, Do not record if uh, your computer has no life. <laughs> so, yes. Um, I think I can just drop down here. I want some spiral stairs going down into here. Um, so we'll get that going. Oh, wait. I should sleep. I should show you guys the wonderful view. And then we'll be right back to this. Um, but this is the view from our bed. Look at that. It's so pretty. With the jungle trees, we've got a little bit of ocean over here. and You know, just all that good stuff. So, we are well rested. Time to get to some building. I really should be saving all of these, but at this point I have so many jungle leaves, um, and I kind of want the saplings from these guys, actually. A lot more than I want their, like, leaves. Um, because I can pretty much harvest any of the leaves that I would want off of, you know, neighboring trees. Look at that spider all alone. I don't want to play with him right now, though, so. Uh, is there a block under this? There is not. So what we're going to do with you is... Okay. Um... Now I need to factor in the staircase. Just gonna come down and wrap around. 
So the enchanter should probably start here. Uh, should we have it diagonal? Let's get, okay, so there's going to be a step there, there, there. Or some more planks. This is just a rough guesstimate. So it'll go like that. Kind of. Let me see if that won't work. That won't work. What am I thinking? Okay, new plan. get down like this. So there'd be a stair there. Stair here. Oh, no, not you. Come here. Uh, stair like that. Stair like that. Then a guy there. A guy there. And the enchanter. Because, yeah, I can do that with the um, bookshelves. See the enchantment table will go right there. That's where the enchantment table's going. And then we'll have the books around it like so. One, two, three, four. And I promise that I will pretty that up as soon as possible. Um,. I think the stair will work. Yes, okay, the stair will work. It's going to be a little bit weird getting used to it, and I may end up just editing it. Actually, it'd be better if I started there. And Okay, yeah, but I'm going to edit it soon. But the first thing that I want to do with this guy... Ooh, I need to get rid of all of these levels. Look at all these levels. I need to get rid of them, and I know just how to do it. So we're going to drop a full level 30 on this pickaxe and hope for some fortune action. Um, or soak touch. Soak touch would be nice. But, um, oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. Crap. Um, but I can drop a level 8 on the bow, and I wanted to get rid of the 8 on the bow. So let me drop an 8 on the bow and hope for something good. Power one, not. Eh, that's junky, junky crap. Okay, but um, give me two seconds. I'll be right back. This will be pretty fied, and I will have filled in the rest of the bookcases and all that good stuff. So I will see you. Okay, so I will have to do some pertification with the. Oh, you've got to go. Sorry. Um, I've got to do some purification down here with the leaves, but I have the stairwell all set up, and I'm going to put an anvil on the other side right here, um, and then probably a chest for books somewhere around here. I'm thinking about dropping the floor down one so that we can put the birch planks, or maybe we should just do it the jungle wood down here um, to give it kind of the enchanting branch feel or something. I don't know. Um, but anyways, the books will come out to here, um, which means that the leaves will have to... No, they won't go pretty far out, um, but they will... or this will be extended, you know, a couple of blocks around. I know, Haro. It does look good. Okay, uh, but we need to work on the diving pool now. So this is my wood chest, and I want you guys, whoops, I want you, 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 and yes, okay. So here we go. Oh no, gone to the blue oblivion. Well, we'll get him back soon enough. 
So that is going to be No, I want like so and like so. Okay, so I have some placeholders set for the enchanting table. We'll have, uh, I don't have, you know, we'll use a jack lantern here. One. Um, so we all have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then thirteen. I can't place it there. Why not? Oh, because it's not okay. Um, but thirteen, fourteen. And 15 will go right there. And we will have a full enchanting table that will be able to give us level 30s. Um, and I will replace all those with book stands eventually. But here we got to go get our anvil set up. No, no, come back. Here you. And I need one, two, three, four. Okay. Okay. Uh, Okay, so block of irons, yeah, and then iron ingots, yeah, an anvil, like a, like a soul. Our anvil, chung, we'll go right there, and our chest, our chesticles. Oops. Make a double chest for all the enchanted books and stuff that I want to combine and repair. All of that will go. Oh, I made this. An odd number and it needs to be even. Crap. Well, we'll put it here. Is that alright? Is that too cramped? Let's bring it out one. Set it living on the edge. That's what that chest is doing. Yeah, so we'll put it on the edge there. So this will be books. Um, and all, you know, just stuff that I want to combine. Our enchanting station will be here. Our repair station will be here. And I am going to drop this uh, vegetation one level so that I can replace all of this with the jungle woods planks and that will be that and off camera I went and added in our diving board I'm going to change up one that's I think it'll look better if we just do the birch wood here. All right, so let's try this guy out. Yeehaw! Oh, like a charm. Like a charm. I will let you live, Squiddies. I will let you live. Um, other things to note really quickly, I went on a chicken genocide, so there are many, 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 many less chickens, and it's a lot quieter, and it doesn't sound as absolutely horrid. <laughs> but, so this is what our uh, tree fort looks as of now. So, yep, just imagine all of these leaves dropped down one. And then, oh, I got to fill in the leaves that I busted up there. All of that dropped down one, and then I will have the fences go around, much like they do on here. And that will be that. The next episode, we're going to start out with some redstone. What we're going to do is we're going to come up... We are going to come up with a better farm for the pumpkins because, I mean, this isn't, you know, too hard. 
Especially if you have an axe while doing it. But the problem is, I barely ever have my axe with me. Um, and I just want to, you know, do that. I want to do that and have all of them pop up. So we're going to do a little bit of redstone, a little bit of piston action. And we're going to see what we can't get with uh, those guys. So That's going to be it for me at the moment. I hope that you all have an enjoyable Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa, why did I say Kwanzaa? I hope you have an enjoyable day, evening, night, morning, weekend, Monday, whatever time or day or setting you watch this in. I hope you have a wonderful time. Did I eat? Okay, I ate it.